What's going on, YouTube? This is your DraftKings Addict, bringing my favorite picks for Sunday's main slate, guys. So this main slate pops off at uh, 6 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. All right, guys, so this is the late games or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm not per playing it early, personally. But uh, first things first, guys, let's start off with the the big bank man right here, man, okay? AD, man, he's been uh, uh, had a couple of games, games of uh, rest. And um, as you can see, he averages around 53 DK points versus Dallas. Dallas is a good team to attack at the center position and power forward. So I'm going with uh, AD, uh, my man Anthony Davis, okay? Uh, all right, on a couple of days of rest. All right, so go ahead and uh, stack a couple of players from the same game, guys. Rajon Rondo, if you look at him, his uh, minutes have been a little bit more consistent the last couple of games. He's playing about 30-plus minutes for the last three games, and he's putting up around 25, 40 DK points. So it's a little varied, but at 5.8K versus Dallas in the, in the game, that should be high scoring and should go back and forth and stay competitive. I like Rajon Rondo to get a couple of assists to AD. So, you know, we can get the, that, that stacking going on right there. All right, so here go a guy I like, guys. Versus uh, New York, Sacramento at home um, with um, Wally Collestein on the shelf. If uh, Scala Bissier is starting this game, lock him in, guys. At 4.8K versus New York, who's, yeah, who sucks? Let's just go ahead and, and see it, guys. All right, if you look at the one game that he's played against this team, he played 24 minutes and put up 31 DK points. Come on, guys. He's getting about 30 minutes the last couple of games, so he should be alive for 35 at least. So at 4.8K. I like Scal for that one, all right? All right, so again, going back to that other game, the Dallas game, Dennis Smith Jr., all right? I like him versus New Orleans. He put up 40 DK points on average over the last two games that they played against each other. And you look at this guy, his minutes are consistent. He's playing around 30 minutes or more. So I like DSJ, I mean, Dennis Smith Jr. Um, versus um, New Orleans. Again, I like that that particular game. All right, guys, so that's four players. So let's get some value, all right? So for value... I like this young man here versus Milwaukee. Milwaukee sucks against Biggs. And if you look at his minutes, he's playing around 20 or so minutes, give or take. Um, but if you look at this game that he played him before, he played 27 minutes and put up 31 DK points, man. He had seven rebounds, two assists, a couple of steals, and uh, about 15 points. So I like this guy here for value. So once you lock him in with those top five players, you still have 5,700 left per uh, player, um, if you don't want to pay off uh, Anthony Davis, Giannis is in a good spot versus Philly. You know, he put up 64 DK points on them last time they played. And, uh, again, he's at home. So if you want to go that way, you can attack it from uh, that perspective. DJ versus Brooklyn, you play Sinners versus Brooklyn. That's a good good fit. He put up 44 DK points versus them last time they played. So if you like DeAndre Jordan, go ahead and lock him in. Then also on the other side of that game, um, Allen. You know, he's been under the radar lately, man. You know, but he's been quietly killing teams, man. 34 minutes, 35 DK points. You know, right here, he played against Chicago, put up 37. So uh, he's in a good matchup against LAC. Um, should be able to get plenty of rebounds. He played him before, played on the 17 minutes, probably before he was a starter, and put up 22 DK points. So this guy is possible to smash. So matter of fact, I'm going ahead and locking him into my lineup at that forward position. All right, guys. So some other plays we like. In his canter, you know, again, you know, these guys are inconsistent, but, hey, if you like it, play him. He played 26 minutes versus Sacramento, put up 37 DK points. You want to attack Sacramento at the center position. In his canter is a good play. Matter of fact, if I lock him in, that leaves me 4,700 at my shooting guard. So if I go with that, you got a couple options here. C.J. Williams been getting a lot of minutes here lately. All right. Look at this minutes log, 25, 26 minutes. All right, so if you want to go there back to that Brooklyn game, I wouldn't play him personally, but, hey, you may like him. All right, each one more. I believe he he, done, he starts right. He's playing 30-plus minutes. If that Dallas game shoots out, maybe he gets you 25 DK points, which is not bad for a 4.2K player. You know, you got Frank, Nick, well, however you say his name. All right, but he's getting 20-plus minutes. But, you know, hey, the point guard, shooting guard rotation over there in New York. It's questionable, all right, you know. So, got a couple options, guys. But, again, these are some of the plays that I like, my top picks. Oh, Chris Middleton. Come on, man. How can we forget about this guy, man? Ooh, he put up 52 DK points on average versus Philly. Ooh, you might want to play him, too. All right. All right. So, 
those are a couple options for you guys. Of course, Lou Williams is always in play. He's liable to come off the bench and put up 50 DK points. Eric Blesso been playing good the last couple of games, but I don't know if I want to play 7K for him personally. Um, D. Russell has been playing well lately too. You know, he's another option. So it's four game slate, guys. Pick your poison, you know, and uh, good luck tonight on tonight's slate. I'll see you guys Monday for the big, the big uh, slate.